Hello everyone, my name is Altaf and today I'm gonna just do a quick video on showing you the, the tool of CM11 mod. Yeah, that's true. I have removed the Sony stock RAM that's so annoying to me and I have installed this new and latest ROM that's Archie Droid 2 developed by them and it's basically a CM mod that's the energy mod 11 so let's just quickly jump into the setting and see what is it actually about as you can see <coughs> my device is sony xperia m c 1904 but after flashing the rom the name the model number slightly changed to this but i didn't get any problem with this i was getting updates um now it's past four days i have installed this rom and i got like two updates first was uh, 2.3 point two point i guess 2.5 point yep here it is i'm a developer by the way so 2.2.5.1 then 2.5.2 then 2.5.3 these are the updates i got it what all the updates changes the first update was just basically i was not interested in it but it was a dumb mod i need to change the rom once again to another one i was not happy with it i was not getting the kind of feeling that cyanogen mod would give me after the update <clears throat> most probably the NF, uh, nfc issue is fixed and some smooth ui and etc I don't think uh, the, the 2.3 or 5.3 that's current version update uh, changed me anything I guess that's internal changes uh, G apps uh, updated I guess but this runs on Android 4.4.4 out of the box KitKat as you can see this is kind of cool <coughs> you get a <coughs> Excuse me, the latest version of Android without any power, <coughs> and you get even the Sanjo mod customized. Even see this two things, just like the same one. It's kind of cool, right? I'm in love with this ROM now. I use this ROM daily basis. I don't get any hiccups. One hiccup to mention is the now I just open the call and when I dial something and uh, when I'm receiving a call, uh, when the uh, person from the other side of the phone puts the call, I get like a sudden sort of sound and then the phone just uh, ends this need to be fixed a little that's not annoying by the way that's minor uh, but speaking of bugs i thought i would mention this thing and the cyanogen mod brings its cyanogen features just like uh <coughs> themes uh, it's great themes uh right now my internet is a little low so i could not show you those things in these are the settings which Sanjo mod brings us customizing yeah, every each and everything like from lock screen themes status bar notification drawer display yeah, buttons you can also just look at these buttons at the bottom of the screen you can see home back home multitasking and this is menu button and search button this is just long pressing this will give it this quick access to this button gives you this the search google search the perfect must have feature and my love feature i love this kind of features by the way from sanjo mod so i thought i personally wanted the sanjo mod i have installed some theme sort of theme it's looking running so fast and when you install the ROM, you directly get a your, your root access. You don't need to find root and later on download. 
it it comes preloaded with some rooted apps like titanium backup and etc i have removed it i don't want that to i'm not interested in those things but i like some rooted applications i use on a basis and these are the update means which tells you when you have updates for your arm like two times i have update and this comes with an it's uh, uh recovery thing that's twrp recovery that's uh, it's, uh clockwork more recovery that's optional and that's not thing to just say i need this and it comes pre-installed mx player uh popular um, player video player service yep i guess it's a uh, screencast yeah i think you get very nice and flexible it's very fluid and when you're installing it gives an option for you guys the archie tried to members gave you option to swipe uh, internal or external memory in a, in a mode to increase your ram i just gave only 12 mb of my uh, memory card and it really works overall i am loving this rom and i definitely uh, recommend you guys to do install this rom and enjoy so guys if you want any <coughs> questions about this rom you feel free to ask me or if you guys are interested in downloading and installing the rom but quite skeptical to just think how can i install please let me know in the comments below i'll do the video for you guys how to install it and till then guys enjoy your day and just keep keep it calm and slow i was a little slow now thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button hit the like button thank you